Hi guys, this is micronetbooklife.net and we're here today with another netbook, a 10 inch netbook, the Asus 1015PX. This is actually a new laptop that it's not yet available on the market, will be available soon and it's probably going to replace the 1015PM in some parts of the world. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to go as PX in the US but it's, uh, this is the name it's going to bear in Europe. Uh, what's uh, different about this device is that it comes with new hardware. There's an uh, Atom N570 processor inside. Uh, the older generation had an N550. Uh, the new processor is actually a little bit faster. Uh, pretty, uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, same amount of, har of uh, RAM, 1GB, uh, extendable up to 2GB, same Windows 7 Starter OS, same 250GB of storage or 320GB depending on the option, uh, same uh, f uh, big 6L batteries and the same exterior. Uh, let's take a quick look at the exterior. What we have here is the white version. This comes in a matte, uh, matte finish. As you can see, the exterior looks very nice. There's the ASUS logo and that's pretty much all. Uh, the exterior is uh, like I said made, made of uh, high quality made plastic. It won't catch fingerprints or at least they won't be visible. It won't uh, scratch very easily. It won't catch and it won't catch sm smudges. So overall a pretty nice finish. The bottom part is made from a texture plastic. Uh, looks quite okay. You have uh, easy access to the battery. This is the battery right here. This uh, particular model has a 6 watt, 47 watt hour battery, but there's also going to be a, a 6 cell, uh, 63 watt hour battery that's going to allow up to 10 or 12 hours of battery life. Uh, that's on papers. Uh, that's on paper. In practice, you should get like 8 to 9 hours, which is quite nice. And you also have access to memory right here. There's only a single memory slot, so uh, you can uh, replace the one gigabyte with a two gigabyte uh, module. And right here on front, you have a couple of cooling vents and the rest pads. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look uh, on the side. This is the front part. Pretty much nothing on the front uh, front part besides the status LEDs right here. On this other side, you have a card card reader. Uh, Headphone and microphone uh, jack united in a single uh, in a single slot. Uh, you also have two USBs, Kensington lock and LAN port. On the back, there's the battery and the screen hinges right here. These are the screen hinges. And on this other side, you have the PSU and uh, the video output, another USB, and uh, a cooling fan. It's nice that uh, uh, you should know that uh, ASUS uh, made a new type of charger for this one. It's uh, very compact, a lot compact than it was on uh, older generation uh, uh, netbooks. Let's open it. Okay, and here it is. As you can see, this part around here, the part around the keyboard is made from the same matte, uh, matte uh, plastic used for the, for the lid cover. It feels quite nice. The same plastic is used for the trackpad. While uh, this uh, area around the keyboard, the keys, is made from glossy plastic. Looks very nice but will get fingerprints. Uh, however, on this white finish they won't be that easy, easy to, to spot. As for the screen, as you can see the screen is made, which is quite nice. There's a standard 10.1 inch screen, 1024 by 600 pixels, but it's made and gets a pretty nice viewing angles, you're going to see that. Uh, however, the bezel around the screen is glossy, as you can spot right here, it's glossy and will catch fingerprints, will scratch. However, uh, this design looks very nice, I particularly like it. I, partic I also like the, the keyboard, uh, it comes with a mm, rubbery texture rubbery finish, it feels quite nice. It's not very noisy, except for space. Space is a little bit noisy, and keys are kind of decently sized. They're not full size, I believe they're 93% uh, uh, full size keys, but they are quite okay. Uh, and uh, you, you should, uh, you like the, the big enter right here. You have decent size shift and control, and on this other side there's a bigger shift and caps lock and tab, all these are oversized, so pretty nice. As for the trackpad, it comes, it's uh, differentiated from the red, from the trackpad, from the red pad uh, by these two narrow bars here. 
It is quite uh, pretty wide for a 10 uh, inch netbook and the click button is made from made plastic and it feels quite okay although there are no separated click uh, buttons for right and left click. It feels quite okay and it's quite easy to press. Okay, let's power the device. As you can see the power button is right here. Okay, it's powered now. Should take a couple of seconds to load. As you can, as I told you, there's Windows 7 starter on this one, and let's wait for it to load, and we'll get back soon. Okay, Windows loaded, so we're back with the Asus uh, 1015PX. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at performances and uh, hardware specs. Like I told you, this one actually comes with uh, Atom N570, which is the new dual-core processor from uh, w from Intel. Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, system rating is not yet available. However, I rated it. And it's, uh, I believe, 2.3 or 2.4. You're going to find this on the site where there's going to be a, a review of the device, a written review. This one also comes with 1 GB of, uh, of RAM and 32-bit uh, uh, Windows 7 starter. I also told you that they, uh, Asus made a, a smaller power brick. You can see it here. I'm going to put it back to the screen so you can actually see how small it is. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's very compact, very light to use. Okay, pretty decent side cable. So this is a very nice uh, power brick for for a 10 incher. Okay, let's go back. Let's get back to performances. I'm going to try and play a 1080, no, 720p clip on this one, and also a 1080p. I don't expect to the 1080p to work, but it might. Uh, however, first, let's actually open Media Player Classic Home Cinema, which is the software I'm going to use for that. And here is the 720p clip. Takes a little bit to load, as you can see. But once it loaded it, it plays the 720p clip quite nice. So definitely capable of playing this. Seeking is a little slow. Let's see. As you can see, it takes a little bit to, to change to seek. However, it's definitely playable, the 720p. Now let's take a look at the, this 1080p self store clip. Uh, which shouldn't actually be okay so right now there's sound but there's no image okay so here's the image but now we have no sound so it's not capable of playing 1080p however I am going to to install Core AVC 2.0 which is a bundle of codecs you have to pay like 10 bucks for them and I usually uh, uh, install this, uh, them on, on netbooks and I'm going to try the 80p clip again after installing this but in the meantime let's take a look at uh, YouTube let's go and see if this one can play YouTube at YouTube clip and also should try Hulu Hulu.com however since I'm not in the US not sure if I'm going to be able to actually play a clip on Hulu YouTube uh, 1080p trailer. Hopefully we can get avatar. Okay, here is the avatar trailer. Right now it's playing in 480p, which is standard. Let's go to 720p. Seeking, see, seeking is fast. So this is the 720p clip. Plays flawlessly. Very nice. And let's also try the 1080p. Seems to actually work quite nice. There's no lag, there's no sluggish performances. So yeah, 1080p uh, YouTube clip is playable on this one. Now let's think about viewing angles. This is 
uh, how much you can actually lean back the, the display for this one. Let's see. So we can lean back to twice. So viewing angles, you can see pretty decent viewing angles even when lean way back. This is what you get horizontally, vertically, and this is what you get vertically. So, pretty good viewing angles for for a netbook screen. Uh, definitely pays uh, being uh, pays that you have a mate uh, display in here. That's definitely something uh, you'd want on uh, on your 10 inch uh, these days. Okay. So this is it with YouTube. Let's take a look at Hulu. If this is going to okay, so I can only see these clips if I can dream, which are available internationally. Let's okay. Should play actually quite nice. It's loading. Right now. Hulu is proud to support the efforts of Learn to Be. Okay, this is an advertisement, I believe. Yeah, so here it is. Hulu, uh, Hulu 480p. This is as well a commercial, but as you can see, it can play it fairly nice. Uh, and the uh, screen is good, like I said, and so are the speakers. You can see pretty decent volume. I'm going to shut up for a second. So pretty decent volume and pretty nice sound quality as well. That's especially for a, a netbook. So definitely can use the sound for multimedia. Of course, it's a, it's graphic chip. It's not that powerful, but the processor really compensates. Uh, like you know, there's this uh, integrated uh, uh, chip from uh, from uh, Intel in terms of graphics, so it won't be able to play games or stuff like this. But for multimedia and browsing and all these other activities, it's going to be quite okay. Let's also load our blog, so you can see it. Um, it's fairly fast. We're on wireless here, so it's quite fast. Of course, you have uh, the trackpad has multi gestures and. Uh, uh, pinch to zoom and stuff like this so overall a pretty fair bundle as for uh, battery life like I said uh, this one should go for up to 8 hours or something like this on a single Sorry. charge uh, but uh, on a regular day basis I would expect from 7 to 8 hours some around uh, something around there which is fairly nice for, for a, a, a 10 inch device of course this is with the 63 watt hour battery the 47 watt hour, uh, watt hour battery will last uh, like 20% uh, uh, fewer, fewer time 20% will last 20% uh, less uh, than the bigger battery okay uh, I believe this is all for uh, for today with the review for the uh, ASUS 1015PX like I said this is going to be hit the market pretty soon uh, it won't be probably more expensive than the 1015PM so probably around 380, 350, 380 uh, bucks if it's going to reach the US and it's probably, it, it probably will overall it's a very nice bundle probably one of the best uh, 10 inch laptops you're going to find on the market right now uh, there are few things uh, I, I can say I don't like about it, uh, like the this uh, glossy bezel around the display, and I think this is pretty much all. Uh, okay, that was Mike at NetbookLive.net. For more details about this one, please uh, see the written review on the site. Uh, thank you for watching.